What is up, friends and book babes? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot minute because we working now. We a working girl and we be tired. But if the quality is looking better, it's because I got a new camera. I'm not using my very old phone anymore. We got a camera. Okay, we're professional now. But anyways, <laughs> back to the video at hand. We are going to go to a coffee shop and read a little bit. And then maybe go to a bookstore. I'm not too sure. I am. I have become more of a Kindle girly myself. So I don't really care to buy any physical book right now. But yeah, we are going to a coffee shop and we're going to read. Uh, let me show you what I have. So what I'm going to bring to the coffee shop is the fourth book in the Percy Jackson series. I'm finally almost finishing the series. I am vlogging the experience. Don't you worry. So stay tuned for that vlog. But we are going to start the Battle of the lamb <laughs> but we're gonna start the battle of the labyrinth in this vlog I also have an ebook that i've been reading on libby and it is bride by ali hazelwood i'm actually really enjoying it um i never doubted my girl ali i'm gonna be honest i didn't care that it was like completely different from what she usually does because i had faith in her and she is delivering is all I have to say. I'm like 75% in. So I'll either finish that book in the coffee shop or I will start Percy Jackson. I'm not too sure. I'm going to bring both and see the vibe. But we're going to go downtown. Hello everyone. I am back home because there was a change of events <laughs> that had occurred that I need to fill you in on. Because the night before, I hit a curb. As one does. Um, <laughs> and my tire looked fine, but there was also a lot of snow on the tire. So I probably just didn't see it at the moment last night. But before I went to the coffee shop, I looked at it again, and there was this big old bubble on in my tire. And I'd never seen that before. I didn't even know tires did that. My uncle, unfortunately, is not very car savvy, you could say. He's definitely the type that just is like, pay someone to do it. I don't want to know nothing type of person. So he wasn't very helpful. Um, he literally told me, um... Just see if it goes away tomorrow. <laughs> so I was like, okay. And then I went to the coffee shop. Um, then when I got home, I decided to Google it. And that is actually a very big safety hazard because the tire could blow out pretty much at any moment with no warning. Um, <laughs> so then I went to Honda because I have a Honda and my car is only, it's not even a year old yet. It will be a year old in May. So I still had warranty and stuff. So I went to Honda and they didn't have my tire in stock. So they gave me a lender car. So I'm driving a new car, which that's fun, I guess, but it's basically the exact same as mine, just bigger. Um, so nothing's that different. So, whatever. But, yeah. So, it's been a fun Saturday, to say the least. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. So, I think I'm going to order Wingstop now. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Because uh, I'm a little frazzled. I'm not stressed. Because they just gave me a new car. Which was very nice of them. Shout out to Honda. For being cool or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was driving a safety hazard. I didn't die. So a win is a win. All right. But yeah. So since that happened, we did not go 
book shopping, even though I could now with the new car. Um, but I am also very terrified that I'll mess up the new car and then have to pay for that. So we're not really gonna do anything fun until I get my car back at least. <laughs> I got to page 62, chapter four at the coffee shop um, for Percy Jackson. I didn't read Bride at the coffee shop, but I feel like while I wait for Wingstop to come, I will read more of this and hopefully knock it out. So this is kind of just becoming a chill reading vlog. Um, my life is chaotic. I'm thankful for not dying <laughs> type of vlog. Hi. Um, it is the next day. <laughs> I did not vlog at all after that clip. I did get wing stop though. I had it delivered and it was very yummy and I like it. I liked it a lot. I have some leftovers because I ordered a three piece tender and they gave me five. This vlog is going to turn into a couple days in my life or whatever instead of coffee shop coziness. I saw like one TikTok with this girl saying to freeze your rosemary water um, so it can actually work for longer so it doesn't go bad or whatever. Um, so that's what I did. And I have this little one, so I'm just gonna spray that all throughout my scalp. So yeah, I'm just gonna massage my head for a bit. And then I'm gonna add this rosemary mint mask to my hair and we'll start cooking. Okay, ignore this <laughs> this is what i look like while i'm cooking okay <laughs> but i just wanted to show y'all kind of like what i do to prepare for lunch like what i get i usually just go to trader joe's and i go to the freezer section my favorite place ever <laughs> and i usually get everything there and since i'm just cooking my lunches and it's for myself i can usually get by with only having to go to trader joe's like every two weeks especially because i'm getting frozen stuff you know and i'm also the type that i don't mind eating the same thing over and over again for a little bit <laughs> so um i usually pick two different meals to cook for the five days of work um and so i think for today we're picking the beef short ribs Yes, we're gonna be fancy. I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes with it and this mushroom melody or whatever. I wanted like some type of vegetable. Are mushrooms considered a vegetable? I don't know, but yeah, I wanted some type of vegetable and the green beans that they usually have weren't there, so I just got the mushrooms instead. Um, and then I'm gonna, this one might be a gamble because I've never had this one before, but I saw this mushroom ravioli. And I figured it would be really easy to make, like just saute that crap and put it in your Tupperware. Um, <laughs> and so that's why I picked it. So it was gonna be the two meals I make um, for my lunches. So yeah. And I'm going to watch The Bear on Hulu while I do that. Don't leave me high Me chopping those potatoes just so it will cook faster when I'm boiling them is pretty much the most chopping I do during this whole excursion. Since I get everything from Trader Joe's, it's a lot. It's just, this is the easiest way to do it. And obviously it's easy for me because I'm cooking just for myself and I'm just cooking the lunches and I'm not having much variety, you know? Like there's gonna be at least three days where I'm eating the exact same thing over and over again but I'm okay with that. <laughs> and because I'm okay with that, I only spend like an hour, maybe an hour and a half of 
my Sunday cooking my lunches instead of like three, four, or five hours. <laughs> so that's how I enjoy it and I really enjoy doing it while watching The Bear because if you don't know, The Bear is about a bunch of chefs. It's about more than that, but you know, it's about a bunch of chefs and so I feel like I'm a part of their little crew. So it's fun. <laughs> You're chilling when the rain Yes, I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite Okay, I'm already done. Guys, it's been like 45 minutes. I watched one episode of The Bear and we're done. Um, so for lunch, I'm gonna use my Ben to go, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure. I'm gonna use that little lunch pail I got from Amazon. So I have my beef, short rib, whatever, on the bottom and then that to separate and then I just add my sides on top so I have my mushrooms and my mashed potatoes and then there's the lid and then I just put it together like so and this is Monday's lunch and then everything else I kind of just put in its own Tupperware and when I get home from work is when I'll assemble it into my lunch pail or whatever but I have my sides in here and if any of y'all come in the comments like wow I don't see one green thing up in here just be glad I'm feeding myself actually anyways <laughs> here's the ravioli I think this one's gonna be the one where I just eat twice it doesn't look like too much so yeah um these have been cooling for a little bit I'm gonna let them continue to cool especially this one this will just finish cooking so I'm just gonna let it cool before I put it in the fridge but this one should be good to go in the fridge and that's my meal prep we're done and I still complain about it <laughs> I'll just put this in my little lunch pail I got both of these things from Amazon um, when they were on sale I just want to get to the point where I can also cook dinner for myself, even if it's a meal prep, since I said this didn't take very long at all. Um, meal prepping might be the way to go because when it hits five and I get home, I'm not trying to do anything, you know? So I don't know how parents do it. I don't know how y'all do it. <laughs> I do not know, not even a little bit because the second I get home, I'm sitting in bed the remainder of the day. So yeah, shout out to parents out there shout out to the single parents too especially jesus christ <laughs> i could not but anyways i'm gonna now shower because this has been in my head for almost an hour so that's what we're gonna do now um <laughs> we randomly decided to do some beauty stuff before showering since it's barely 3 p.m <laughs> So I decided to do a little whitening strip. I get the sensitive ones just because I grind my teeth at night. So I feel like it would make sense for me to get sensitive. Um, <laughs> so I had that on and a lot, I've seen, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen so many people on my For You page dyeing their eyebrows with beer dye. So they don't have to do their eyebrows in the morning uh, for their makeup routine. And I don't have beer dye right now. I am willing to try it at some point. <laughs> but I figure there's no point in me getting beer dye yet when I do have a eyelash and eyebrow tint. It's almost like a year old because I used it like one time and <laughs> never again. Um, but I used it for my eyelashes. I don't think I used it for my brows. So I just want to see what the final product will look like if I tried it. But once this is done, I'll probably get beer dye like 
all the girlies use and I do want to try to do eyelash extensions at home I don't have that yet but maybe if I do ever order them maybe I'll do a vlog for them if, of that if you want but yeah so that's the current stuff going on right now so <laughs> okay I just showered and yes I'm wearing the same pajamas as before you can't shame me I don't care and I'll do it again okay but secondly I just wanted to show you all the eyebrows I do feel like it made a difference out of difference filling in your eyebrows do so I might end up doing this more regularly really all I needed to show you was my eyebrows <laughs> I was gonna do my hair on camera but then forgot so sorry <laughs> I think for the rest of the day, it's literally like 4 p.m., but like I said, <clears throat> I don't like leaving my house. <laughs> Have I said that? I don't know. Not Maybe not in this vlog, but I say that very often. Um, I don't like leaving my house, and I don't want to do anything. Like, I kind of want to go to Target, but I feel like I could just do that after work tomorrow or something. You know, like, I try to leave the house and do all my errands after work so on the weekend I don't have to do anything you know I want to I want to do something fun you know like I'm not doing errands on the weekend that sucks <laughs> so yeah anyways back to what I was gonna say I think I'm gonna read more Percy Jackson um tonight and for the rest of the day and maybe finish the bear but yeah I have a pretty boring life I just go to work and read and that's it. At some point, when I have the energy, hopefully I'll be going to church again. Because <laughs> I would like to do that as well. But yeah, that's really all I do is work and cook sometimes and read. That's it. You know, so this weekend in my life is very boring. At some point, we're going to also go to the gym. So when I get my life together, you best believe these couple days in my lives are going to be so much better gonna be such a sleigh but for now there's really nothing to say or do so I might just end the vlog here because there's really nothing else to do <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog as not structured as it was I hope you stick around <laughs> If this is your first video seeing of me, I'm so sorry. Um, but we'll 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 get better. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. We will get better. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Meet me on the street line. Me where the lights fade out. Tell me what it feels like.